What's up guys, it's your boy Alex here and today we're going to talk about what you should be doing with your money if you have money in the stock market at this time of March 25, 2020. For those who do not know what's going on with the US economy, it was recently just plummeting down due to just the lack of cash flow going through the economy, mainly because of the coronavirus. Due to this pandemic, it has caused this minor recession that has been happening for like a week or two weeks right now. And a lot of you motherfuckers think it's a joke, kiki, 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 like I was thinking, right? But that shit right there, just because you think you are mute to it, guess what? Your pocket ain't because a lot of come from China. Due to that reason, the economy, the stock prices, and the value of a lot of these companies have plummeted just because no one else is spending money. Consumers are not buying stuff around the world. People are just afraid to go outside. So inherently, there's no cash flow because no one's really going outside nowadays. The US government sought that this is an opportunity for them to help everybody by pushing through a couple of stimulus packages and passing a few bills. And inherently, it has come to this. Just a disclaimer right now, I'm not an expert on this. I had to do a lot of research, I had to read a lot of articles, and just for me to grasp a general understanding, I had to break down a lot of things. So I'm just breaking it down as layman's as I can because I think I'm still a newbie at this, but essentially this is what is going through my head and then hopefully you guys understand it a little bit more because I've broken it down and digested it a little bit better. As of this past week, there have been a lot of discussion in terms of bills that are passing, a lot of money going through our economy despite people are not spending as much money. And this might, you know, question or make people confused on exactly why our companies, our US companies, our stock prices are all of a sudden increasing. This is due to the US government basically pushing money actually towards companies. They do this through the central bank. Basically, the US government has asked the central banks to start loaning out money to these companies. And what these loans are supposed to do is supposed to help companies pay out their payrolls, pay out like the salary of their employees. Inherently, this will put money into the system because their employees will start buying more things. In addition to that, with those loans, they could start running operations with their employees back in check at work. They are also trying to use that money to basically further invest it so they could generate more profit, generate more money through the money that they have gotten. Ultimately, it always depends on how the company is gonna spend that money that they get from the government. They could also hire more people so we could start pushing through the workforce and actually start getting to work and doing all these things that will hopefully have a domino effect of once they go into work, they start getting paid. Once they get paid, they start spending money. Once they start spending money, the money goes back into our tax system and all this other stuff that the cycle of money goes through and it is currently on a standstill. And with this money is essentially just like oil to lube up the gears. So it's a lot easier for the US economy to be back up. And because of these stimulus packages, this oil onto the gears, it has brought a lot of hope. So therefore the stock prices increase. They actually get money as in they, as in the companies actually get money. So therefore the companies are worth more because the they essentially just got paid for doing nothing and then there's always all these other reasons on why the stock market increases for the most part those are the two main reasons that i could think of just using common sense but you may be wondering how does this affect me why is this important to me this will obviously affect you if you have bought into the stock market within the past week most of our stocks and our US economy is currently on the rise. This means that the stock prices are increasing as we speak each and every day. You may be making money right now on paper. You bought the stocks at a very low price last week and now they have skyrocketed basically 10 to 20% within just one week. Most of you guys might be tempted to sell it in order to make a quick buck, 
but I don't think this is a good idea mainly because of this one reason. If you have bought some stock within the past week that is not in a Roth IRA or some kind of Roth retirement program, then you should be holding on to the stock because you will be taxed based on your income bracket on how much profit you have made through that stock. An example is that if I am making $60,000 per year and I decided to sell a stock which I made $100 per share, which is a lot of money, right? And let's say I bought 50 shares. That means I have made $5,000 within one week just through the stock market. But that's not exactly true in terms of how much money is going to your pocket because at the end of the year, you have to account for the profits that you have made through the stocks on top of your salary income that you might be making. In this case, you have been making usually $60,000 per year and this one year you have made $5,000 of profit through stocks. So what your income is really taxed at is at $65,000. Depending on where your income is set at, you have to be sure that your salary and the uh, amount of stocks that you have sold hopefully does not go over a tax bracket that you were not really expecting. For me, I do not think paying those taxes right away is worth it, mainly because the stocks that I would have picked, I am picking it in terms of me thinking in the long-term investment. When I mean long-term, I mean holding that stock for at least a year. One of the bigger reasons why I like holding my stocks and investments longer than 365 days is because if I do do that, the tax that I make off the profit is only 15% as compared to maybe 24, 28, maybe sometimes 30%. Of course, this will all depend on the tax record that you land in. Even though the markets have been up the past few days, I'm going to hold for a long term, mainly just to save in taxes. And additionally, I really don't have like a reason to sell those stocks. I want to make more money off of them. Additionally, I wouldn't know what to do with that large sum of money once I do sell the stocks. In order for me to really make sense of selling them right now, I need to find something to actually use that money for. An example of what I would really use this money for is for like a down payment on a mortgage or something that's of a large purchase that I really need or want right now. I don't really have a big need or want to spend that money, so I'm going to keep it with the stocks that I have purchased. Additionally, I think the stocks that I have purchased are going to make me more money in the long run. One thing I think most people need to consider before selling their stocks is what they're going to spend that profits on. Are you trying to buy a more risky stock or are you trying to buy more of a conservative stock in terms of just the fluctuations in the stock price? These are just simple questions you need to ask yourself if you're planning to sell a stock that you have made money off of. Or, of course, another option is that turning it into cash so you could pay some bills or you can use that to pay something off or just something that you really need to pay for in cash. That's when it is a good time to sell your stock. Just be sure you are accounting for the taxes that you have to pay for your profits you have made from your stocks. That means you shouldn't be spending all the profits when you first sell it. Set aside a percentage of the profits into another account so you know exactly how much taxes you can pay at the end of the year and you don't have to worry about it. Wow, pro tip. If you are interested in referral codes or just free gifts or whatever, you could check out my description. I have my investment account that has a referral code where you could get two free stocks if you deposit any type of money. And usually I think it's about like a thousand dollars and you could get two free stocks. But just creating an account, you get a free stock that can be worth twelve to fourteen hundred dollars. Also, there's a bunch of credit card referrals that you can use. That's just the credit cards that I use to maximize the 
purchases, the daily purchases that I make so I could maximize my money by getting cash back or points. So essentially I'm saving money each time I purchase something. And just a disclaimer, of course, since these are referral codes, I do get some kind of compensation, whether it is just some more points, reward points, or I get stocks from Webull. So it will help me out and I also help you out with some free stuff. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button if you have found something helpful or you have learned something. This helps me so much so just smash it up it is free and it just helps me out so thank you and i'll catch you guys later see you later dude money on my mind let go on the seat call 45 i be gunning for the peace dropping knees for me you can't hold no peace with me i just need money you can't put no leash on me